So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Precious and this is Precious Touch TV. As you can see, I'm trying new things. I'm experimenting with shooting outside. I have a very serene background here and I am just enjoying the environment while I shoot. So guys, please stick with me till the end of this video because I'll be sharing something that is very, very dear to me. So please stick around. So for some of you that do not know, my name is Precious and I am the queen of the hustle. Like, I like to do everything. Do you understand? I am so energetic and full of talent. Thank you very much. So um, I find myself most times and often, you know, doing more than one thing at the same time. And for me, it's been a blessing. And, you know, I've been able to grow over the years, you know, drop some things, pick up some things as well, and basically develop myself as I, I, I went along the line. Today, I just felt like I should share, you know, a couple of things that I knew about um, managing a full-time career and a side hustle at the same time. Some people wouldn't want to call it a side hustle. They will say it's a business, which is fine, because most times you find that your side hustle will eventually grow into a business, and that's the you know end game plan anyway. So um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing things you need to know about managing a full-time career and a side hustle or a business. Please stay tuned. So guys, one of the first things I would like you to know about managing a full-time career and a side hustle or a business is that they are both important. So don't let anybody make you feel like, oh, your career is more important than your side hustle or your business is more important than your career or your side hustle is more important than your career. No. I like to give them good attention, you know, in appropriate proportion. So, you can be a career person at the moment and you have intentions of becoming a business person eventually. The best time to start learning how to manage a business wouldn't be when you are done with your career. It will be while you are at your career. So you find that you find useful tips at work and otherwise to help you even in your you know, side hustle or your, or your business. Another thing I've found out about managing your full-time career and a side hustle or a business is that most people that fall into this space feel like they are alone. They feel like, oh, nobody understands, they are going through a lot, there's so much pressure from you know, your work or what it is you do from 9 to 5. And then there's also the demands of trying to scale a small business or trying to you know, ensure that you are consistent with your side hustle. And the struggle is very real. So most people in this space feel like, oh, they are all alone, nobody will understand, their spouse does not understand, their siblings do not understand. What I can tell you for free is that you are not alone. In fact, there are a thousand and one of you out there. You know, a lot of people these days, especially in Nigeria, young people, you find that they are doing more than one thing at the same time. Somebody's an actress, a singer, a writer, a producer, a copywriter. Everybody is doing everything these days, so just don't feel alone. The point is for you to begin to look for ways to engage yourself with people of like minds. So for example, are you a young mom who works as a customer service executive and bakes on the weekends? You know, and you feel like, oh, you're not able to scale your baking business because your work takes so much of your time and nobody understands. If the answer to that question is yes, then I strongly recommend that you begin to make friends with people who are not just 9 to 5 ers but are also side hustlers. People who will feel your pain when you complain or when you talk about it. People who will understand that this thing, you know, is a survival of the smartest of the fittest game and they are in it too. So you, you need to actually just reach out more to people like you and that way the loneliness can be minimized. Another thing you need to define from the beginning is to know whether it's a permanent thing or something that you're just doing for hobby. So some people are side hustlers for hobby, like they bake for fun or they do makeup for fun, but they don't really see themselves scaling it into a big business much later or after, you know, they are done with their 9 to 5 job or with their career, you know, on the long run. And it's also very fine, I mean, to each his own, but you need to know if that is where you are going or not so that you can plan accordingly and be prepared just in case you need to start scaling another business. You have been able to determine how permanent or temporal your side hustle is, you know, pari passu your um, 9 to 5. You now begin to think of oh, things like scaling, is this, some, is this 
something I can scale much later. Am I just doing it, you know, for the meantime until something better comes up? Am I, you know, a business person that we want to partner with people eventually and not actually be there to run the whole thing myself? So these are basically personal reflective questions. They are not necessarily questions you need to, you know, answer to anybody. They are questions you need to ask yourself so that you can just kind of guide yourself and direct yourself on what is what is going to be eventually. And then another thing you need to know basically as somebody that has a full-time job and is managing a side hustle is that you shouldn't be rushed to make any quick decisions. So don't be in a hurry to quit your job, don't be in a hurry to um, go big don't be in a hurry to be one of those that say oh i've quit my nine to five and i'm now an entrepreneur and then you get in there and begin to flop and say oh had i known take your time nobody's rushing you remember a couple of things especially in this our society you need to remember people that depend on you you need to remember that you need finances to you know fuel your side hustle your business you need to remember that you went to school and you actually put in some time to get the education that you are using to work now so to say so i mean take your time and do your thing at your own pace and we find that when you do things at your own pace you can bounce off knowledge from both worlds so you can apply knowledge from your personal business or your personal side hustle to your career you can apply knowledge from your career to develop your business eventually and everything will just work together for your good so let me just do a quick recap of the things I think you need to know if you're managing a full-time business and a side hustle quick recap things you need to know if you're managing a full-time career and a side hustle or a business the first thing you need to know is that they are both important the second thing you know you need to know is that you are not alone the third thing you need to know is that you need to know define whether it's a permanent thing you know something you could scale eventually you also need to find out by yourself what the future plan of the side hustle is in your you know life then finally you also need to understand that it's your journey and you can manage both for as long as you are ready you know for as long as you can for as long as you are willing don't let anybody rush you or make you think that there's something out there that you are missing out from there's nothing out there it can wait okay guys even though i speak to you i speak to myself as well life is a journey that should be embraced don't let anybody rush you own your race until i come your way next time i remain precious thank you for watching Oh, I forgot to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. You know how we do now. See you later. Like, share, subscribe.